show you how to cook the easiest chili for your family that you can throw together in 10 minutes. start a YouTube channel so that I remind them of Paula Dean. And every fall that comes around when I start cooking with sticks of butter and I say things like it's fall y'all, totally get it. You know how I am all about cooking for your fam. Even if it's not like completely clean and organic and perfect and has 55 ingredients that you found on Pinterest, I want to show you how you can literally make this chili in 10 minutes. You need like three cans in your freezer and all these things I usually have these spices, and then I will buy the meat and then um, the vegetables and I'm good to go. I wanna make it as easy as possible, so I use things like pre-cut um, onions and pre-cut peppers to make it super simple. So literally 10 years ago, my mom put this recipe for me on this note card. I still have the note card. Laminated on one side, but not on two. I'm gonna write this recipe down below, and I'm also gonna make it to where um, I can pin it and put it on my Pinterest page, which is what I'm doing with all my recipes. What you are gonna do first is you're gonna brown your ground beef. So I got two packages of lean ground beef, and then I got one package of regular ground beef. So it costs for three pounds. Um, you know, if you want to half this recipe, you can half this recipe. If you want to do the full recipe, you can do the full recipe. It just depends on how big your growing family is. And then I'm gonna throw in the two containers of bell peppers and two containers of diced onions. Of course, if you want to dice your own onion or your own bell pepper, be my guest. Bye. So Mallory's looking for Doug, and um, I'm stirring some meat. You guys don't have help. Um, Thanks. Okay. <laughs> We're back! Okay, so now I'm throwing the rest of this in here. Now you're gonna mix that around and cook that down. How beautiful is that? It is an explosion of fall colors. And now we are opening the cans. What I love about this recipe is literally all you do after you've done this step is throw all the other ingredients in, you put the lid on, then you cook it for like 40 minutes and then it's done. And if you don't have a peasant to help you. <laughs> Just stop it. She's not a peasant. <laughs> Chloe is my friend. Chloe's shooting this because we're putting this on the blog and Pinterest and a lot of other things too. So this is why I love this recipe. Literally, drain these cans and just throw them in. Can of dark red kidney beans. I don't know why they gotta be dark red, but they do. Can of hot chili beans. And before you guys all be saying all kinds of stuff about not to use a can, I'm sorry, I'm from Kentucky. And in Kentucky, 20 years ago when this recipe was put together, what nobody worried about no cans. So if you don't wanna use a can, boil your own beans. Okay, so you use about a medium can of tomato sauce, or uh, yeah, tomato sauce. So I'm gonna use almost this entire can. Now we're just adding in spices, okay? We have got four tablespoons of ketchup. I love this recipe too, because a lot of these ingredients are things that you can already find in your fridge or your pantry. I love recipes like that because then you don't have to go to the grocery store and get 20 ingredients. You can go to the grocery store and just get your meat or something like that. So a lot of these things, like I said, things that you can find already. Add in one tablespoon of salt. Typically I'd do a large pinch, but. Oh, wait, got that ready. Salt. One tablespoon of Worcestershire. 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 Okay. One tablespoon of paprika. 
Now let me talk to you about chili powder. There are a million kinds of chili powder on the market. I like this Mexine. So this is just a particular brand of it. You can use any kind of chili powder if you want an organic one or whatever, you wanna get real fancy with it. I really like this one, just because this is the one that my mom used in this recipe many moons ago. So I'm adding in four tablespoons of this. Okay, so now I'm stirring this all up. And now I'm gonna add in the bay leaves. Make sure you take them out before you eat them. Now I've thrown the six bay leaves in there. I'm now gonna put a tiny bit of red pepper in there. I put a, just a little bit, like a little dash of the flakes, and then I'm gonna add some cayenne pepper powder. You do that to taste, so I'm not gonna tell you how much to put in there. It totally depends on how spicy you like your chili. So I'm making this right now for Kyle's family because his mom has had a hurt back and his grandma's been sick, so when people are sick in my family, I like to make things like this for them. Now, lastly, I'm gonna add three um, tablespoons of brown sugar. This is not the cleanest chili, this is just a good chili. And the last thing that I'm gonna do for this chili is I'm gonna put in four cups of water, which equals one quart, says Google. And then I'm gonna let it cook for 30 to 45 minutes. Okay, so the chili is almost done. And now I'm gonna put together this pumpkin muffin recipe. So this is like a classic, beautiful pumpkin muffin. You can also make it into a bread. This is not gonna be like some healthy version. I did make a healthy version here in the, um, in the bread pan and I'll show you how to make that one day. But if you're wanting just a classic, awesome pumpkin recipe, and I'll direct you to that in the link in the bio. Okay, so I have finished the pumpkin mixture. Um, you can see all how to do this on the blog, but with baking, you do want to do exact measurements. Um, so I do recommend following this recipe exactly. These are just like a fall staple. So now I'm gonna put them into the muffin tins. You can do large muffins, you can do small muffins, you could do bread. You could do whatever it is that your pumpkin heart desires. Hey, pumpkin. Your mom muffin. Yeah. <laughs> this is them in the oven. I did some mini muffins and I did some regular size muffins. This makes so many muffins. It literally can make like 70 mini muffins. Here's what the chili looks like done. I usually garnish it with sharp cheddar cheese and sour cream. You could also use Greek yogurt if you wanted to be healthy. Literally the best chili ever. Okay, the muffins are done. I then put them on a cooling rack to cool. And like I said, the recipe is down below, but you have never had a muffin like this. This is gonna have butter in it and sugar, so don't you be trying to ask me if I have a Weight Watchers version of this because that is not what this recipe is. But I can um, give you that recipe, but these are better. My mom and dad and bought Ford a um, <laughs> high chair. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of things. So I hope you guys enjoyed the fall recipes today. Chloe, what's the verdict? Chick-fil-A's awesome. <laughs> Over there with our Chick-fil-A. So I packaged it all up. Kyle's family hasn't been feeling too good, so I was making it all for them. So this is the muffins. I always just get like disposable containers too because I don't want people in the midst of them not feeling good to feel like they have to return a Tupperware container to me. And then I got this little plastic one too for the chili. And always if you're sending someone a gift or something, send the fixes. Don't nobody want to go out to Publix when they're down under the weather. So you know when you have those days where you just got so much going on in your life that you just kind of got to let it all go. You gotta eat candy, and you just gotta joke around with a friend. And drink a cold one. <laughs> Clint, neither Clay and I drink, so we're cracking some cold ones, Choco Chicos. Well, you don't drink and I'm allergic, so mm -hmm. it's fine. So, uh, Chloe. I'm sorry, Chloe. what was that? <laughs> we were talking. <laughs> so anyway, just ignore that string of spit that just left my mouth. Chloe was talking about my, mine and Kyle's conversation about how Kyle has a thing for Jasmine circa 1993. Chloe probably wasn't even alive in 1993, but that's beside the point. So anyways, we thought, since we just did a candy review, why don't we do a princess review? Talk about our favorite princesses and such, since I have this nice box that arrived on my doorstep from ColourPop. <laughs> so, so let's get real about the princesses and what how we have evolved and as what they women. contributed to society yes in their days and you know back in the day when cinderella was a lad women were treated differently and now we are strong independent women and now we have princesses here so like let's start Tiana. on the left okay. Tiana. 
Tiana. Do you know a lot about Tiana? I actually don't know much about Tiana, but please So Tiana. Me. She's wearing a short dress. I like it that she's gone with these Sunday. She link. modern. She modern. She's modern. She's a modern woman. She shows some shit. I love her brooch. <laughs> Oh, and when did uh, Snow White start going to dang bed and then negligee? We both decided because we're both overachievers. We do not like Snow White, nor do we like Sleeping Beauty, because all they do is sleep. Yeah. Get get up and get a job. <laughs> <laughs> At least Snow White, like, cleaned and helped her little door friends, but Sleeping Beauty literally just, she like... She barely helped! She just pricked her finger or something, and they made, like, yeah. a whole hour and 20 minute video about that. <sighs> Wimp. <laughs> Tiana, she was a princess. Well, she was a princess, but she was a girl who wanted to open up a restaurant. I think her mom, Independent woman? Exactly. Then this frog came to her window and was like, kiss me, and then I'll turn into a prince and make your dreams come true. And then she turned into a frog. So she got set back by her man. Story of my life. That's me and Kyle exactly. <laughs> I was on my way until he arrived, and now I'm in the swamps. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I always say this because he's editing it. <laughs> so Tiana. So okay. Tiana, independent woman, made herself her own brand, opened up a restaurant. Oh my God. Yeah, so self-star entrepreneur. <laughs> all right, now let's go on to Ariel. First of all, poor girl just not content with her life. <laughs> if you want to change a part of your body, I've always been fine with that. But Ariel, whoo, did she want to change? So she really... <laughs> Living under the sea, everything's going good. She's got a tail. She has everything. She decides that she... She's not content with her life. She wants to be no. somewhere else. She's looking at someone else on Instagram being, I want to be that. And we do not recommend that, No. by the way. Don't be Ariel. Don't be. But you know, Ariel does have a lot of great qualities. But Ariel is kind of like dainty and like kind of just... She gave up her voice so that she could just walk around. Mm-mm. Does that not no. say something? <laughs> Don't give up your voice for a man. Don't give up your voice for a man. Bell. But she had great hair. Can we talk about the fact that she came out of the water and looked flawless? I know. When I come out of the water, my extensions are curled. My real hair is straight. And you can see, like, bald spots from where I just I had mean, a child. Oh, so much volume coming out She of did water. have a lot of volume and a great vibrant color. And you know they ain't got no good salons under the sea. <laughs> <laughs> let's get real. The crap doing her hair. Okay, let's go on to Belle. Belle, the intellectual. Belle is the intel At least she was an intellectual. She's book smart. She was very book smart. And she was great because she tried to save her father from she the did. beast. I know, she did. So she loves family, family oriented. <laughs> Actually, you know, Belle might be my favorite princess. We're probably going to really start humble. a riot about princesses because I know people get real about their princesses. Belle was humble. She was very humble. And she, she looked at inner beauty, obviously, if yes. she fell in love with the beast. Yep. She didn't care about riches. She was fine. She, I mean, but she arrived up in that castle, and you, I mean... Yeah, but the castle, when she arrived there, she was saving her father, and it was dingy, remember? Everything was dead. I was, was taking dingy. She flipped it, yeah. But <laughs> she's the Joanna Gaines of the 18th century. So, yeah, Belle, you know, enjoy your Instagram success. And Chloe and I are still eating the candies, which is another reason I'm just taking my Invisalign out. Let's be honest. Okay, so let's go to Little Miss Pris Jasmine. Clearly Jasmine and I have some beef because her and my husband have something going on. Well, girl, she rocked them crop tops. <laughs> she did rock a crop top. She great top abs. At like 30. I feel like she was older what, rocking a crop was top. Was she though? Was she probably mid-20s. You think? How old are the princesses? That's a good question. How old do you think these princesses are? Comment down below. Well, Belle lived with her dad. So was she like I that mean, young? Let's get honest. There are a lot of women in their older 20s living with their dads nowadays. <laughs> I lived with my parents on and off in my life. No shame. Jasmine has got a heavy lid, so she's done an emerald um, shadow. Real dramatic eye look. Yeah, so apparently circa 1993, she's she really a made her bag. She really made an impression on my husband. That actually looks like a Prada bag. Yeah, she's Jasmine and her Prada. Okay. What did, what would she do? What, did, what does she have in her hair? A leaf? I can't even remember what she did. Because she didn't do anything. Leave a legacy, people. Leave a legacy. Kyle said, I said, which princess am I? First he said the Wicked Witch, and I was like, very funny. Uh, he said I was Cinderella because she was very grand. Oh, she got her black gloves on. None of the other girls are wearing gloves, though. Uh-oh. Chloe's Where's mad. Mulan? I'm just, I'm just saying. <laughs> He's mad that Mulan. We have, we have. Wait, is it Mulan? Mulan? She fought for her country. Her whole country. Her entire country was on her shoulders. And they can't give her a lip shade. Like Tiana. Tiana came in way oh. later than Mulan. Mulan was around way before Tiana. Preach. And Mulan, like, come on, where's my, where's my Asian representation? <laughs> hey, 
if if you haven't been clear on my channel, I admire all the women independent, all the women independent. But I also like men too. So <laughs> yeah, we love them. we love them all. Everyone in our eyes is um, special. Is special. Some of these princesses uh, had their flaws, but you know they still made it through. We all have flaws. We do. Hope you guys enjoyed our Disney princess review. And cheers to being overworked, dum, dum. independent women. Dum, dum.